afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and this is Hazel Grant Media. And <laughs> say hi, baby. Hi. And today we're going to be taking a look at a bag from Alaska Leather Company. Now, they did reach out to me after seeing several of my videos and asked me if I wanted to take a look at a pack. I said yes, so they did send me this bag for free, but that is where my affiliation with the company ends. I am not being paid to say anything positive or negative about the bag inside this bag. Um, all of the opinions in this video are mine and mine alone. Alaska Leather Company will see this video when you do. Now, Hazel wanted to uh, film a video with me, so she decided that she was gonna come down and join us for this unboxing and first impressions video. So, uh, you can talk now. Okay, so we have this bag, so the company match we got. And we have some bag, this bag has a little extra in it. So, um, a little bit has extra, extra, extra. So a little bit, you have to change a little bit. So the company can go faster and faster and faster. So watch this video. Watch so this video. we can go um, to Alaska and this bag, actually, my daddy will open it and then give it to you. So then I need to look over there. So I can do what my daddy in everything at once. And then the bag has, will have fire and fire. ring and bond. Well, before we're done, let's get started. Why don't we open yeah. the bag yeah, and we can see open what's the inside bag. the bag, okay? Yeah, we can let's see. Let's do that. Inside. Okay, we're gonna start by opening the bag and seeing what we have inside. Okay. Rip it open, rip it open. Here, grab it, rip it, rip it. Okay. We're gonna open this for real life. Okay, so we have to open this have bag. A dust bag that did not seem to survive shipping too well. This shipped from Pakistan. The pack inside is about 55 liters, and this dust bag is really big, but it's only got to be about half that size. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Now. Yeah, one second, sweetheart. It's pretty nice. We have a decent tie here. So go ahead, Hazel. What would you like to say, babe? So if you open this bag, you have to do it and then you have to um you unpull Ooh. the bag Ooh, nice. Ooh. this is real leather so alaskan leather company does Daddy make leather products now it's it's a it's, trap. it's not a horse trap it's more of this is the big joe military rucksack um, and this is actually a, basically a sea bag. This is what a military sea bag would be like. You have your ring or your loop, and all you do is you fold over your top. There's a belt here too. There's a belt. Your pieces, and then so make sure you put the have belt on to go underwater, okay? Somewhere we have a clip. We should have a clip. <laughs> yeah, Daddy, but you have to put the buckle on. I'm looking for the buckle. Whoa. Down here. Here it is. Down here it is. It's oh, actually wait. the shoulder strap. Okay. So, a sea bag would normally have a shorter end. This this long strap here would be the length of the bag, but a sea bag would actually have the strap sewn right about here. So when you undo the clip, that doesn't come all the way down. You would still have it attached and then have your shoulder strap from there but it would also have your shoulder straps in the back now i believe the reason they did this is because they have this pocket in the front so if the leather strap was attached it would get in the way of this zipper here so i mean the way around it i think would be to um maybe just have a piece of leather sewn right here so you do the closure and then you can maybe have another clip and this could be a removable because it is removable you can't clip it off from down below you could choose to remove this strap if you want and then not use the shoulder strap and just use the backpack straps so right off the bat that's the first thing i'm seeing now this pack is i believe about 300 or 3360 cubic inches which comes out to be roughly 55 liters of space um, it is made between a leather and canvas materials and I don't think they actually say what the canvas is They didn't on the website. I don't see it on the literature here 
to know. It doesn't give me too many specs. But Hazel, what do you think of the pack? Um, um, has, um, something yummy and tasty, and it smells like candy. It yes. smells like candy? I think it smells like canvas and leather, which to me is a pretty good oh. smell. Now, in addition to our closure, we have a side handle, our shoulder strap that again is removable from the bottom. It's just on a leather loop and it does have a little padded slide strap here so you can adjust this to where you need it. And then we have on the other side, we have two belt compression type straps so we could uh, lash something to the side. I wouldn't say these are mo more, these are more lashing points than compression straps, but you can use this to shrink the bag down if you need to. And then we have our backpack straps with another little leather uh, pouch pocket on the side here that I'm sure once this is filled out, this would be more on the side, but when you're laying it flat, obviously it looks like it's on the back. And then we also have, one second, sweetheart. Then we also have a pass-through, so we have a trolley handle here as well. And then we have, the straps are not padded, but it is yeah, maybe eighth inch or so thick of leather. So there is no padding and it is a big bag. So when you have this loaded up, this may or may not weigh you down quite a bit um, on your shoulders. The inside is a, is a softer cotton liner here. So it does feel a little bit better to the touch. And there is some organization in here. So it's not just a tube. Towards the front of the bag, we have two little liner pockets here that are about the width about the width of four fingers, and uh, they're about the depth to a little above the crease of my hand, so I'd say the depth is probably about five inches or so. I think that's it. Yes, sweetheart, what's up? Why is the floor broken? Uh, it's not broken, baby, it's bamboo. It just kind of rests in there. And then we also have across the back a zipper pocket that's not too deep. Uh, it's a little deeper, I'm gonna say that's maybe Maybe about five or six inches deep. Yeah, but it's maybe a in the It's back. probably about six to eight inches wide. So this pocket here would be a good space to throw maybe like your charging cables and stuff for your cell phone because there's no real laptop sleeve. Well, there's no laptop sleeve at all in here. And you're probably not gonna be carrying a lot of tech, but you always need that pocket to throw your cables because yeah, cell phones, they run out of juice pretty quickly. And coming back to this front pocket that we touched on before, there's actually two liner pockets on the front and then your zipper pocket as well and that is you can clearly see the depth of the zipper pocket it does go up so it does go to the top seam and all the way to the bottom i'd say that's probably about eight inches in depth and about six inches in width and we do have some grommet holes on the bottom on both the front and back of the bag so if you were to get this thing soaked out, you have a place for that water to drain. So it's really pretty basic, simple layout. It's a big 55 liter tube. Um, so you could just stuff a lot of things in here. I don't want to call this a duffel bag because it is more like a military sea bag, the way that it operates and closes. Um, so you could fit quite a bit in here for travel. And that's just what we're going to do. Hazel. Where are we going this weekend? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? We just told you before. Where are we going? Say it, Coney Island. Coney Island. Say it louder. Coney Island. We're going to Coney Island this weekend for a little bit of a long weekend. So I'm going to put this bag right into the rotation and test it out. And I'm going to throw all of my clothes, all of Hazel's clothes, and maybe all of Mommy's clothes in this. And then we can just carry everything in one bag and then this in my backpack and uh, a beach bag and we should be good to go. That'd be, that'd be nice because that's way less stuff that we have to pack in the car and way less stuff to have to carry from the car to the hotel and hotel to the car in New York City, which I don't like to do. So uh, yeah, we're gonna throw this right out into rotation and give this a go. Overall first impressions, I like what I'm seeing, real leather. It's got a fair amount of organization for a simple package. Only thing that I'm not liking is now that I'm even looking at this, I don't like the placement of the strap. It is off to one side and not centered. And the fact that the only closure for the bag is 
attached to a big, long piece of whipping around leather. Um, I would have liked to seen maybe this strap be attached here so I can close it easier um, as opposed to being like a potentially four foot long piece of leather whipping around. And because it is removable, there is always the possibility that this pops off and then I have no way to secure my bag closed. So I would like to see this centered and have a lashing point here to close the bag so I'm not potentially going to lose my only closing point. Now, if I were to lose this, a simple carabiner thrown on here that I do not have handy right now because I don't have any laying around the studio filming area, but a simple carabiner could close it because really all you're doing is you need something to stop the, uh, the bag itself the big grommets from coming off over the loop. So really any kind of closure point would work. So I could, again, just throw a carabiner on there and be fine. But I like the leather strap because it is the Alaska Leather Company. So I would like to use the leather strap, but I would just like to have it sewn up a little bit higher on the bag so I can close it and have it secured. But overall, I like what I'm seeing. The materials all seem to be nice and durable. Oh, the price point, this comes in at $265 USD. So this is a bit of a pricey bag. But I are getting. But you are getting real leather for that. Well, I'm all getting real leather for that. Price point. Price point. Good job. Mm. So, Hazel, do you like this bag? Yes. Are we gonna use this bag this weekend when we go away? Yes! All right, are you excited? Yes! Are you excited to go away? Yes! Are you excited to use this bag? Yes! She really doesn't care, she's just excited to go to the beach. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and test this bag out, so please Daddy, stay tuned for the real user review coming up. We could pack up. some stuff! We could pack some stuff. Mommy's standing behind the camera with some beach toys that we can also throw inside this bag because we don't have enough stuff to fill up a 55 liter bag for a couple of days in the city and at the beach. So if you like this video and another video, so if you'd like, comment, share, and subscribe, smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications next time I post a brand new video. Good night. Now right. I put on stuff. <laughs>